Hi guys, how you doing? So on today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to assemble your Magnum 28 foam kit. All right, so you've received your kit in this box. Now, like I mentioned in the previous video, this is the only piece that will not be assembled, taped and talked by us. And you're going to see for very good reason why. But basically, it is because it will not fit back into the box. So when you get your box, all you need is a handful of tools. I've got just in case an adjustable spanner and a set of spanners, as you can see. So it depends which one you've got. Obviously, this will be a lot easier to use because you can adjust it. So within the foam kit, I use a manual. First, you'll see obviously the PF22. So there's the bottle. There's the foam and head. And there's the dip tube. So I'm gonna leave this for now. So away from the PF22.2, what you will see is, again, the world famous SGS28 gun. Now, as you can see, it's got no connections on whatsoever. And then right at the bottom of the box, you will see a box of fittings. Now, they're very, very self-explanatory. Now I'm going to show you up close each fitting and where it goes, just in case you don't know. Now, the brass fitting, you don't need for this. Obviously, you've got the new orifice for the PF22, so you've got the 1.25 already pre-installed. Now, if you need a 1.1, this is it. So again, for this application, you don't need it. Now, so you've got three fittings in three different sizes. So as you can see, these two look mightily similar, but slightly a different size. So the smallest quarter inch male fitting is what goes onto your foam cannon. So again, you will have to tape this for the demonstrations of this video. I'm not gonna be taping it because the kit's gonna be back in the box, but you would pre-tape it around seven rolls and you would get a 14 millimeter. So this is a 14 millimeter um, adjustable spanner and you can do it one of two ways. You can tighten it through here or manually. Now, once your tape is on, seven wraps is, um, is recommended. You will now start to tighten it just past hand tightness. That's the most important thing. You don't want to ram it in too far where in case you want to change, change the fitting for another one, you will not be able to take it out. So you've just fitted your quarter inch nipple, the dip tube, you just need a bit of pressure behind it. The dip tube is installed. You then take your cap off and your PF22 is good to go. Now the two remaining parts is you've got a 3 8 male. So again, this quarter inch, this is 3 8, so it looks very similar. It's just slightly bigger in size. So this will go into the inlet of the gun because then this will hook up to our stainless steel 3.8 again. Um, coupler that will go on to your Kranzel or any M22 machine. So again, you will tape this. See, this is slightly easier to go in. So this is at hand tightness. And you will take 17 millimeter this time. And again, you will start to tighten it. Now, you can see every time you tighten it, the swivel also moves. So you can either grab the swivel and start to tighten it like this, okay? Or you can just get another 17 mil or an adjustable spanner, hold it in place and start to torque it down. Now, once this is in, you've now got your male quarter inch and this is a male quarter inch coupler actually. So this will then start to make it a plug and play system with your foam cannon. As you can see, that will go on like so. And this will also work with our lancers as well, because this has got a quarter inch on here. Boom, just like this. So exactly the same. You first thread it through. Again, this is quite tight. 
And this, again, is a higher than a 17 mil. So in this set, there is no 17, um, above 17 mil. So the best thing to do is at this point, you get yourself an adjustable spanner. You line it up just right. There you go, nice and tight. And then you just start to torque it down. Etc. Etc. up until you get it just pan hand, hand tightness. So you've seen again how easy this is to do. All you need, realistically, you'll probably just get away with your adjustable spanner. That way you can hit, you know, the, the smaller parts, the bigger parts. And now what you see is you've got a quick connect system, good to go. So just so you can picture this, this is going to be the outlet of your hose. So this is a 3.8. It goes into the bottom of your gun. And then your outlet of the gun will go into the foam cannon like this. So if you've already got a quick release system on the outlet of your lance like this, this is a perfect plug and play system. Now, if you have a Kranzel, for example, and you want to make it a quick connect system, obviously, because it's an M22 fitting, you screw this in first. Obviously, this is, has to be bought separately. And then this kit is a complete plug and play system. Now, the advantage of this gun being in quick release, like you've just seen, you can attach your foam cannon, you can attach your lance, and you can also attach your pressure tips from MTM. They've got all the same fitting, which we'll go into here. And it's just as easy to start taking things on and off, on and off, as and when you need a certain extra, like a foam cannon or, or the lance. But in under about a minute, you've got your gun all good to go. Now, if you do tape this at home, with seven wraps and you fire the gun for the first time and let's say you've got a little bit of a leak here a little bit of a leak there the best thing to do is just literally tighten it one more notch and it, that usually 99.9% .9 of the time it fixes the problem but now you've seen just how easy this is and this is the reason why this will now never go back in the box because it, it's just way too big so we can't actually, unfortunately, talk it for you, even though it's super simple for you to do at home. Now with every kit, you will get a bag of these fittings. Now this brass fitting you'll never use, so do with it as you please. Again, keep your orifice. Keep your orifice safe. If you've got a lower, if you've got a lower output uh, pressure washer, for example, you've got a Karcher K2, Karcher K4, or a Nilfisk, and you don't get the power out of the foam cannon because again, the hole on the orifice is bigger and you want slightly more foam, you can always change it to a 1.1 orifice. But if you've got a good output machine, anything, I think above eight liters and above, keep the 1.25 because that is more than sufficient. Now, if you buy one of these kits and you don't have a quick release system on your pressure washer, again, Karcher or Nilfisk, you can source your own adapter that will convert this, uh, that will convert the Karcher or the Nilfisk or any other pressure washer into a coupler system where it then will take the quick release systems. The reason we don't mess around with all the different connections for Karcher and Nilfisk because there's, as you know, there's that many pressure washers. The most famous and the most kind of available around the world for replacement and new part is quick disconnect, quick release systems, however you want to call it. And this is why we've gone with this. Um, we can't hit the whole market, obviously, with the quick release systems, but about 90% of people have already got these systems. So um, I would highly suggest just Googling if you've got a Karcher, a quick connect system or an adapter to go into a quick release system, and it'll be uh, nice and easy for you guys. So I hope you've seen just how easy this is to install. Um, if, if you do have, issues fitting this please just give me a call give my team a call and i'll just walk you through it um, but apart from that you shouldn't be having any issues because this video again this video will age quite well because even if you don't buy this from us you you go and buy um, a stainless steel plug from elsewhere but you want to fit it to a foam cannon you will see exactly it's all the same as to how it's all fitted but anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed it um, stay tuned for uh, more content and Hope you guys have a great day. Cheers.